are you guys doing? Have you done with your assignments? Almost done. Yeah. Too hard! I'm almost done. You all get an F. This is completely unproductive. As you can see, they are neither distracted, stressed out, or don't care at all. And these are a bad example of what flow is. And I'm Monica, and today I'm gonna to talk to you about flow. To all of you that don't know what flow is, it is a psychological state that one enters when they're completely involved in activity, with no regard of their surrounding. What are you doing here? Making this video. Get out of here. Get out. Get out. Get out of my class. Anyway, uh, example of flow would be someone playing video games for 8 hours straight. Someone learning to play ukulele for hours. And doing some yoga. Or simply making a basket like that guy. The thing you need to know about flow is that you need to be challenged while having the skill necessary to accomplish that goal, which is something called the skill versus challenge chart. In simple term, it is that you need to be challenged in a way that you are very interested in doing it while having the skill necessary to do it. If the thing you're doing is too easy, you will get bored and not feel satisfied. But if you are challenge or to challenge and don't have the skill to do it you will get frustrated and upset it's really fun to fail on two different teams <laughs> knowing this concept of flow is good but under what conditions that need students to enter a state of flow <laughs> according to uh, the great Tall survey 65.2 percent of students enter flow when they're outside of school and within that group, 28.6% of students enter flow when they're in their free time. Students are most likely to feel comfortable and relaxed when they're in the free time, but this guy is too much. According to our survey, 78% of students are most likely, less likely to challenge themselves uh, in their free time, which will lead to procrastination. Being outside of school with little restrictions allows students to have the sense of freedom and relaxation to enter the stage of flow easily. Although if you're involved in riot activities, you'll get bored easily like this guy. According to our survey, there are 37.2% of our students saying that hanging out with friends is a good way to enter flow, since your thought mainly focus on relaxing and having fun. Thirty-five point eight percent of students also think free time can help them enter flow stage efficiently. For that, I recommend you to invest your time in things that matter to you, such as music, family, the bad guy. for education. Comparing with outside activities and in school, like this, students were most likely to enter flow if they are exposed or surrounded by a peaceful environment, such as this. <sighs> so peaceful. So some example of students being in flow in school would be doing homework, such as my friend here, Julian. Reading a book. Correctly. Or doing school project like this. So after all of that sweat and hours of doing this research, we hope you guys understand the big idea of flow is and how it is different for everyone to enter it in different situations depending on the environment. So please Go out there, be in flow, subscribe, enter that flow button, 
and be flawless. Hashtag flawless. Bye.